The global technological revolution has cut across all aspects of human endeavors, with the pharmaceutical industry not left out. A wonderful development that has made life easier for everyone, you will say, as everything that circulates the physical market are now online and easily available to people. Visas, however, come with its numerous threats. One of such is the growing activities of fraudsters engaged in online pharmaceutical trade. The need to safeguard the public from this dangerous trend necessitated the two-day online pharmacy regulations and pharmaceutical product marketing regulations stakeholders meeting in Lagos, Nigeria. The event was organized by the Pharmacies Council of Nigeria in collaboration with Association of Industrial Pharmacists of Nigeria. Day one of the event, which was 9th of December 2021, featured a review of global best practices, overview of pharmacy online regulations, legal perspectives, and online pharmacy regulations. The major requirement there is that there must be someone who will be responsible to pharmacy council, and that's the superintendent pharmacist. And they must have a pharmacist, they must have a fiscal, a fiscal address that we can easily track them. And then other regulations like uh, CAC documents, and uh, those are the major things that, that are needed for now. It's very necessary to safeguard the health of Nigerians. And over the years, a lot of uh, online pharmacy practice has been going on, and uh, there have no been any regulations to regulate them. And you know, when there is no law, there is no crime. So now that the regulations have been put in place, so it's going to become a criminal offense to do an online pharmacy practice without registering with Pharmacy Council of Nigeria. They made, criti they made some critics on the documents, We're going, going back to look at it, and then do the necessary adjustment, and then we'll move forward from there. You can see we have a, the support of the Inspector General of Police. He has dedicated someone to serve as a liaison officer between Pharmacy Council of Nigeria and the Interpol Department of the Office of the Inspector General of Police. So if there is any reporting and they will help us with our investigation and they will bring the whoever has run far of the law will bring them to book. The, com the, the, the commercial sale of counterfeit drugs across the world is more lucrative than the sale of cocaine and several hard drugs. So you must regulate this area. You don't want to open your drug distribution system to charlatans and people who are evil in their nature. Especially because drugs are poisons. Drugs can kill. If you misuse them or abuse them, it can lead to you know, dependence, it can lead to addiction, it can lead to injury, it can even lead to fatality. So drugs are not commodities like clothes, shoes or telephone that you can just easily sell online. So when you are regulating the sale of medicines online, you are doing a service to the country. You are doing a service to consumers. We're not saying don't do it. We're just saying do it in a manner that is well regulated. It's just like saying aeroplanes can cause air crashes and accidents. Yes, we know aeroplanes can fall and you know people can die. Do we now say we can't fly aeroplanes? So I like the position of PCN to say we recognize online pharmacy has come to stay. Let us regulate it, but let's work in a collaborative manner. And to me, that's the way we should go. We see more and more that innovators are looking to leverage technology to distribute medicines. Um, we're seeing online pharmacies emerge, not just in Nigeria. Of course, it's a global trend. Um, but we also see that there's a gap in terms of the laws to regulate their operations. Um, a survey by the International Pharmaceutical Federation shows that only 8% of African countries have laws in place to regulate online pharmacy operations. And Nigeria being the of Africa, as we like to say, uh, needs to be one of those at the forefront of regulating pharmacy operations, but doing it in a way that ensures that the public health benefits that they provide can be maximized and not just clamping down on them. Day 2, which was the 10th of December 2021, featured private sector perspectives on pharmaceutical products, marketing regulations, and lots more. We are very happy for this stakeholders meeting because it has given us the opportunity to, to get the feelings of the people that we are regulating. But the regulations have been made. Though we have um, we sought their input also when the regulations were being drafted, but now that the regulations have been signed, it has become necessary that we call them together again to get their feelings and also to map out the way forward. And that's what we have achieved in the last few days. This is a very, very good development for the pharmaceutical industry at large uh, because all the companies were having challenges with the medical reps as well as the uh, non-medical reps um, 
about this marketing and the way in which they have embezzled the company uh, resources. So this will prevent a lot of uh, such pilferages and uh, it will attract more investment into Nigerian pharmaceutical industry. PMG man is interested in this. Apin is interested in this. Nero is all these things are arms under Nai. So they are all major stakeholders. A community pharmacists who are also interested because they want to make sure that um, the people who are coming there to talk to them are professional. They have the right information to market from a school products to them. Association of Hospital Pharmacy is the same thing. Academy pharmacy, everybody is interested. From a school society of Nigeria as a professional body is also interested in this. Because each and every one of us, honestly, what we are championing is total sanitization of pharmacy practice in the country. We want, we want some rules and regulation to guide whatever we are doing so that sanity will reign. Um, you know, when you see something you had anticipated over the years coming through, it gives you a lot of joy. Um, the, I say rot in industry um, as regards the behavior of medical reps and uh, some unethical practices is going to be settled once and for all by this um, uh, regulation and so we're very happy we're very happy because it's going to be, bring a lot of improvements both for the practice and for the environment and even for the medical reps themselves and the companies and particularly for the patient who is the end goal of our um, activities so that will also help us to curtail the issue of uh, drug abuse and misuse in the country the meeting came to a close with different resolutions for implementation. Resonate among them all was the decision by the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria to begin enforcement of regulations by January 2022. Yeah, the conclusion is that uh, we have gotten the buy-in of the stakeholders towards the implementation of the new regulation. And today's event is a uh, regulation of CIS and uh, pharmaceutical representatives of companies who are involved in the sales and marketing of pharmaceutical products of various companies. Complaints have been coming to us about these individuals, and a lot of them have been defrauding companies. And because there are no regulations regulating them, they have been going away with such things. But you know, the federal government is, is frowning against the corruption in that uh, sector. And uh, because of the activities, there are a lot of de investment in that in that sector, and foreigners are even feeling it, feeling bad in coming because they don't trust the individuals that will help them to do the sales and marketing of their products. So with these regulations, now we'll be able to now regulate them properly. They will all have permits to do to carry out their activities, and any one that defaults or has anything to do that is contrary to the to the regulations will now be brought to the investigating panel of the, of the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria. And if they are found wanting, they will be taken to the tribunal. And if there are criminal cases associated with the activities, they will take them to the appropriate security agent for prosecution. Same thing, we also spoke, we also had a workshop with the stakeholders on online pharmacy practice, because a lot of people have been selling drugs on online, and a lot of people have been assessing drugs with have prescription online. So the regulation is also to, to regulate the online activities and uh, those who are not doing the online pharmacy practice will not be registered, licensed and get the permits to, to continue that uh, uh, practice. And with that, we should be able to curtail the activities, monitor who, the, who are buying, buying drugs online from them, what type of drugs they are buying and where they are getting it. And with this, federal government will be able to put a tracking process in the drug use on online practice in Nigeria. Established by Act 91 of 1992, the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, PCN, a federal government agency of Nigeria, is charged with the responsibility for regulating and controlling pharmacy education, practice, and training in all aspects and ramifications.